Thank you for watching Look Gorgeous for Life. I'm Leslie. Hello, YouTube family. We're just about to enter October, the fall season. I'm so excited about that. Um, I did post on my Instagram that I am trying the Starbucks pumpkin spice K cups. And I have to say that they are pretty good. I mean, they have a great flavor. I don't make them the way that they make them at Starbucks, but I think that it tastes pretty good. It tastes like fall, in my opinion. And, um, and I, I would recommend you try it if you like pumpkin spice type things. It does make a difference in my morning to have coffee that tastes really good rather than just like regular coffee that doesn't taste that good. I don't know. I, I'm a fan of flavored coffees. That's what I'm doing. Um, I do want to apologize to you guys for not um, uploading anything last weekend. I have been sick for like a whole week and I'm still feeling pretty sick, but I did want to just give you guys a quick update with what's going on with my um, braces and the last appointment that I had um, last Friday. Hey, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do um, like to give updates on what's going on with my braces. I have fast braces and I had a severe crowding case, especially on the top um, portion of my teeth um, having to do with my canines. So if that's you and you kind of want to know more about what you can do in order to rectify that with braces, then go ahead and subscribe and I will give you more information on that as we go along. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is um, these elastics. I have not been wearing them as much as I'm supposed to. They are so annoying um, and they're hard to put on. I had to get like a little tool to put them on. I don't know if you can see. I had to get a tool to put them on because it's just so hard to um, put, it's hard to put the elastics on with your fingers. Um, I kept like trying to put them on and then like I'd only get it on like two teeth and maybe it didn't really get on the bottom one like it was supposed to and so it would just kind of like flick off into I don't know where. Um, and then later maybe people would find them and they're like, hey, did you lose an elastic? And I'm just like so embarrassed. Um, Anyway, because I mean, I have to put them on all the time. Like you're not supposed to save them. The dentist said that if you save um, the, the elastics, that they start to get loose. And when they get um, when they get loose, they don't really tighten the way that they're supposed to. And he explained to me that what he wants the elastics to do in my case is to bring the canines together. So this canine needs to go down and get brought together with the other canine. And then this one is actually not even a canine, but we're going to use it as a canine because um, my teeth came out in a different order. Like the premolar came out before the canine. So this is a premolar. So I don't know if you could tell that back there, there's like um, another cusp because it's a premolar, it's not, um, it's not a canine. Like this is my canine. So it's premolar, canine, molar. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're bringing down to uh, match up with this. And I have to tell you guys that um, the appointment before the last one was kind of scary um, because they had to file down the back cusp of the premolar, which I wasn't expecting. And I knew that at one point we were going to have to start doing some like filing of my teeth because um, like the dentist said, I just have too much teeth for my mouth. And that's kind of what's causing this, uh, this gap here. As you can see, like it's not really coming together. And, um, and on the side, they're kind of like really jetting out. And I don't really like that. Um, it kind of causes me anxiety. And the other night I had a nightmare about it where I felt like my, well, I had a dream. And so the dream was that my two front teeth were like sticking straight out and they were the size of Pop-Tarts, which is crazy because I don't know how Pop-Tarts, like two Pop-Tarts can fit in my mouth. Um, but somehow the front two teeth were two like Pop-Tart sized teeth that were just like sticking out and then on the sides like these two teeth here like they got so loose that like they were falling out and then suddenly I didn't have braces anymore and I was just kind of like what happened like um these braces were supposed to help me and now all my teeth are falling out and I'm freaking out so I woke up like in the middle of the night 
And I was kind of just like in that transition, like in between being asleep and being awake. And I had to like tell myself, like, it was just a dream. It did not really happen. You still have all your teeth. And like with my tongue, I was like feeling all my teeth um, and they were all still there. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys are, if you guys have braces and you're having nightmares about how your teeth are shifting and moving and everything and how they're just like loosened up, like you're still normal. Like everybody has those kinds of dreams. Um, once I think I even had a dream, um, I did have a dream where I was, um, I, I was eating Legos and, um, they were like too tough for my mouth. And I don't know why I was eating Legos in my dream. Cause obviously you're not supposed to eat Legos ever at all. But for some reason, um, I had a dream that I was eating Legos and it was causing like my teeth to get loose and like to fall out of my um, like gum region, but they're still like attached to the braces. So I was just like a whole like disaster in my mouth, like where I was like losing all my teeth. But um, that was obviously just a dream. I still have all my teeth that they're still there. Um, but yeah, so nightmares are definitely something that is very common when you have braces. So don't feel like you are alone in that respect. Okay. Um, so the next thing that I want to talk about is, um, like sleeping in braces is a lot, is a lot harder when you wear elastics because you have to have like the elastics in like a nighttime kind of routine, at least for me. Um, so these are like the daytime wear of elastics. And for the evening, he wants me to do an upside down V which is so hard for me to do. I couldn't do it until I got the, the tool that I got and I'll insert a picture um, of what that is, that tool and what it looks like. Um, I got that tool on Amazon my husband actually ordered it for me and, um, I had it like to, uh, to put it on, I had to like do one molar and then bring it all the way up, like as, as hard as I can pull it. Um, which is kind of scary because I am scared that like the bracket's going to pop off, but it never does. So it's fine. Uh, I had to pull it and like bring it over uh, the canine and then bring it back down and just to bring it like as far as I can over um, to like clip it there. And um, I've only done that maybe like five times so far. Um, I was pretty good at it after I got the tool, but then I got sick and I just... I was drinking NyQuil at night, so I just couldn't be bothered. Like, um, I would wake up and I'd like forget where my phone was or my glasses because I wear glasses for work. I work um, on a computer and I just feel like glasses are the best for my vision correction in order to work with th the things that I do on the computer um, so that my eyes aren't like constantly straining and um, trying to see past like the blurry sides of my contacts. Um, so anyway... Um, sleeping, sleeping is kind of different because I, um, my mouth feels like it's moving in a, like a totally different direction. Like my jaw on the bottom wants to like jet out like this, like while I'm sleeping because of the elastics. And I don't know why, it, why it's doing that, but I guess it's normal. Um, but because it does that, it makes it hard for me to keep my lips together. So, um, a lot of the times, like I'll wake up and there's just like a drool everywhere all over my pillow, which is really gross guys. But I mean, if we're going to be honest with each other on our braces journey, like it happens. And so I do like change out my pillow, like almost every night. I don't drool every single night, but like, I guess sometimes I, it just gets away from me. So <laughs> sorry about that story, but it's true. So if that's happening to y'all, just know you're not the only one. Um, it happens. Okay. Um, I am getting a gap right here. Uh, it has started, it has been there for a while, but I guess I never showed it to you guys. Uh, but it seems like it's getting like more further apart. And then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the gap that's going on. And up here, I feel like I'm starting to get a gap like right here, but it's just kind of like where the gums are. So I don't know. Um, on my next appointment, the dentist said that he's going to start um, filing down the sides of my teeth and that's called, uh, give me a second, I will remember what that's called. Reduction. It's called reduction. So he's going to reduce the sides of the teeth. 
he said that everyone has like a millimeter on each each side i just bit my tongue right there while i was trying to talk to you guys um so everybody has a millimeter on each side of their teeth that has enamel and they can wear a little bit of it away so like maybe half a millimeter on each side of the tooth and that kind of scares me a little bit because I'm afraid that I'm going to be able to get cavities more and so I asked him about that and he said that it's it's totally safe that um, it's a procedure that has been around for a very long time and they have seen very positive results with it and it does not increase your chances of getting cavities of course, you do want to continue to floss and brush and everything like that. Um, and while we're on the topic of flossing, I do want to tell you guys that um, if you're having trouble flossing, like with regular floss, it's normal. Everybody has trouble with it, um, especially if you're trying like with the little hook and everything. It is, however, one of the best ways though to floss. Um, I do have a water flosser, and if you guys want to know more about like the the stuff that I use to clean my teeth, let me know. Um, just like hit the like button and put it in the comments below that you want me to make a video of like the tools that I use um, for brushing and flossing. And if I get like a hundred likes and enough comments, then I'll make sure that I do that for you guys as soon as I can. I did want to just share with you that flossing with a water flosser is really good for getting like the big chunks of whatever you ate, but it's not, it's not fully the best way to floss your teeth. So what I do is I use a water flosser every night and I use usually use it in the morning as well. Um, the one that I have has an attachment for braces so it has like a little brush at the end um, that helps to get into all of the areas around the braces to kind of just really get stuff out from around them and in between my teeth. But even with that, I feel like it doesn't do the absolute best job. Like it's not the same as using um, string floss. I do use a string floss still, and I also use the Plackers orthodontic flossers. And I also use um, like a Dentex pick. Um, I just really have to stress to you guys the importance of taking care of your gums while you're having your orthodontic treatment because if you don't take care of your gums, then like while everything's moving around, things are a lot looser and it's a lot easier for stuff that gets stuck in between your gums and your teeth to get into the bones and cause degradation inside of like your jaw or like your bone structure. You might have to have like a deep cleaning or something while you're having braces and I don't even know if, if you can do that or if you'd have to get them taken off. And guys, please just, Please just promise me that you will floss every night, whether it's with a water flosser or with a string floss. What I like to do is use the water flosser every night, and then about every other day, I'll use um, the string floss. And uh, if I just like, I'm really super tired and I'm going to bed late and I just can't be bothered to be using the string floss, then I'll use the plackers. Um, and I try not to rely on them too much because again, they are not as good as using string floss. So um, even if you don't use the string floss that often, I would say to at least, at the very, very minimum, use the string floss at least twice, twice a week um, and make sure that you're also using other types of flossing in between there, like with the water flosser and with the, the plackers. Anyway, thank you guys. I love y'all so much. I'm looking forward to having a straighter smile and I know it's not going to be perfect because the um, arrangement of the, how my teeth came out, but that's just how God made me. So I have to accept it and know that um, even with straightening my teeth out, um, it's, I'm still going to have a different, unique kind of a smile. Um, and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be different, right? Um, so anyway... Thank you guys. Um, please take care of yourselves and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.